Lachie Clare in the centre of the shot, very well fancied. Dennis O'Regan, he'll be one of the coolest because he knows he jumps well and um, he's certainly got a huge chance. Needed all the rain we got last night, like soft ground. But also he's naturally cool, Dennis, <laughs> isn't he? There's Ruby Walsh looking forward to his ride on my will and just managing to get the get these Yeah, I actually was speaking to him earlier, he said this horse will either love it or hate it. He's fallen before over fences, but um, as he said, he might take it. There's a starter. Keep Sean McDonald, around, he's going to start Keep calling these around. runners in. We have a commentary team of four. They are Ian Bartlett, Tony O'Hare, Darren Owen, and our commentary team led by Jim McGrath. This course will either bring out the best in a horse or the worst. Drama awaits. Come quietly, come quietly. The 162nd, no, John no, Smith Graham. No. He says no. no. The starter says no. No, he says go back. It's a false start. It's a false start. And uh, fortunately, the riders are pulling up long before they got to the Melling Road. The flags are being waved down the track. And you could hear in the background Sean McDonald, the starter, very distinctly said no, but they charged forward. Uh, the two that have gone the farthest are uh, Kilbegan Blade and Chelsea Harbour. They're a long way. They've almost got to the first fence. Silver Birch, the winner two years ago, almost got down there as well. Uh, Snowy Morning covered a lot of ground, but fortunately they were able to pull up most of them before they got to the Malling Road. Quite a few of them, about half a dozen or so, have continued over it. So in all the excitement... The uh, excitement generated at the start, the eagerness to get an early position. Those riders were taking off, and the starter, Sean McDonald, said very distinctly, no, no. So they come back. And this time, a relatively orderly callback as well. Mick Fitzgerald standing alongside me knows what, what it's like when there's a full start. Half the field are, are rearing up and ready to go, and half the field not. Well, it's almost like you've got two divisions here, the ones that are at the back and the ones that are at the front. And what the idea of the start is to give everybody a fair chance. I know people are going to be at home saying it's four and a half miles. Surely if one gets a little bit of a head start to another, it isn't that case. There were horses facing the wrong way, and in fact, I saw one actually have to jump the tape because the tape wasn't even all the way across. Rishi? Okay, just to say, the starters just calling them in. The first start was just a bit of a mess up when he called the horses. They all charged it. Here's Jim McGrath. That's it. They're coming in once again, and this time they're off and running. No, no, the tape is still across. He says no again, and the ones in the front hear the echo and Silver Birch. They, those riders, breasted the tape, and there are hoots. And booze from the... And there he is, Sean McDonald, starting his second Grand National. Oh, guys. none of this drama last year. We've now they're walking in. They are here. taking notice of what he's saying. Now, one or two We've are out the back. Table. Now, hear the echo is this time. Stand there if you want to. Just get facing the right way. I've got to put the tape back up. I can't let you go until the tape is up, until the guys have the tape up. They're still putting the tape up. So here they come, the 40 runners once again. They're standing now. Take hear the, hear the echo. They're still walking. They're up on the Take tape. He's told them to take a turn. And again, the booze from the crowd. The guys are still putting the getting tape Getting very impatient, up. the crowd. Don't but come across the line. It is a natural I'll pass anxiety the for these riders to want to get Just a good stay position. Steady. They're coming in this time. Go on, then. That's it. They're off and running at the third attempt. And down near the inside, one of the first away stand with Idle Talk and Silver Birch and Pawnee Set. And up there as well as Irish Invader. Just behind them is Golden Flight and wider out on the track. Then Kalami as they charge now towards the Belling Road and towards the first of 30 fences. We join Ian Bartlett. With Stan and Cornish said, Irish Invader, Black Appalachi, State of Play, Keller Me and Battle Cry amongst the leaders. Himalayan Trail is down, Golden Flight is gone. Himmler Trail and Golden Flight are both down at the first fence, and those are the only two casualties at the first as they come to the second. Irish Invader was the leader to stand towards the inside. And getting over that one, Ollie McGurn is down, Bro Brooklyn Brownie is down, they come to the third. It's Irish Invader from on the outside, Black Appalachie, and then comes Battle Cry. And Reveille is a faller, and Chelsea Harbour has fallen. 
as they come down the number four. Black Appalachian Irish Invaders stand with those. Just in behind those Euro Trek and towards the outside is Hear the Echo and then comes Battle Cry as we now join Tony O'Hare. Coming to the fence before Beatrice, Black Apalachi, one of the leaders, also uh, up there over is Kalami. Then on the inside is Silver Birch as they come down towards Peter's Brook for the first time. And Black Apalachi, an Irish invader, state of play is from, and so is Kalami. Hear the echo. Out wide is Battle Cry, followed by Latcher's runner from Ply or Die. Darkness just in behind the leaders. Inside is Idle Talk as they go out over Beatrice Brook, a mistake by uh, Cornish Set, but uh, they're all safely over. Coming to the fine Avon, Black Appalachie, the leader, Silver Birch on the inside, Irish Invader jumps it in third. Here the echo is for Calami is next, and, and Stan is a faller at the fine Avon as they race on now towards the canal turn and it's Black Appalachie the leader from in second place on the inside Silver Birch Irish Invader is next behind these idle talk and they're followed by here the echo then comes Kalami then State of Play Darkness is next then offshore account as they uh, clear that and head up now towards Valentine's Brook Black Appalachie leads Silver Birch idle talk Irish Invader and here the echo as we join Darren Owen on the approach to the 10th it's Black Appalachie by a couple of lengths from Silver Birch in second place here the echo Irish Invader offshore account Kellamy to the outside and state of play idle talk going the shortest way they jump this next plane fence and over they go it is Black Appalachie, Silver Birch here the echo, Irish Invader Kellamy offshore account, idle talk state of play, next chased by Cornish set darkness and battle cry this is a big open ditch they're facing and it's Black Appalachie by two lengths to Silver Birch here the echo, Irish Invader then offshore account, idle talk followed by Kellamy, comply or die state of play and battle cry, snowy morning in mid division chased by darkness then Cornish set. They're being followed by Lamy as they jump this next plane fence. My Will is still in the race in mid-division, followed by Pre-Sleep. Music of Bella is a faller. So they head on towards the Melling Road. It is Black Appalachie from Silver Birch. Hear the echo close up, then Irish Invader. Idle Talk is in close contention to the inside. As they head on now towards the 13th, Comply or Die still going. Offshore account in the white jacket just in behind them, followed by Irish Invader. Then State of Play in the blue colours. Spot the red cap of Battle Cry to the inside. They go on now towards the 13th, the leader by three lengths is Black Appalachie and here's Jim McGrath. It's Black Appalachie, Dennis O'Regan, well clear of the field. He leads by four or five lengths, coming to the 13th fence. Silver Birch, the winner two years ago in second, followed then by Hear the Echo up in third, a very handy third as well as they draw towards it now. In Irish Invader just behind them, so too as Offshore Account is not that far away. Idle Talk is uh, further back in the field, so too as Battle Cry the inside. Darkness is right there in the centre as they run towards the 14th now and out very wide. Kilbegan Blade heading over the 14th and it's Black Appalachie who led over it and did it quite well too they all got over it safely as they head up now towards the, the chair and it's Black Appalachie who leads Idle Talk and Silver Birch in the centre on the near side is here the echo from Irish Invader and State of Play behind them battle cries they jump the chair further back in the field then Snowy Morning the inside offshore account is out wider all over the chair mistake no one down Cloudy Lane is gone coming up the water and the leader here is Black Appalachie by four legs just scrambled over it though from in second Silver Birch Zabenz is down Zabenz is down at the water he landed awkwardly so going out with a circuit to go now Black Appalachie the leader from Silver Birch here the echo is next followed by Idle Talk and then Irish Invader the inside next is Battle Cry followed then by Offshore Account and State of Play from Darkness and Snowy Morning Lamy is next followed then by Mon Mom and then My Will is right there in centre field Kalami is next Comply or die is wide, then free sleep. Well back is Southern Vic. Big fella, thanks. Passes legacy. Butler's cabin about 18th or 19th out wide. Then can't buy time. Rambling Minster, nowhere. Well back in the field to his Syrium. As they race now to the next, the 17th, here's Ian Butler. And Eurocheck has been pulled up before jumping the 17th. It's Black Appalachie from Idle Talk and Silver Birch. And here the Echo and Irish Invader in state of play is there. Comply or die towards the 
right side of runners with offshore account also. Uh, they get over that one and we have some fallers. Fleet Street is down. Can't buy time is down. Black Appalachian at the open dish to Silver Birch and Idle talking here. The Akron offshore dream, offshore account. Then comes Irish Invader at State of Play and comply or die. Uh, Rambling Minster has been pulled up before jumping that as they come down the next. Still Black Appalachian. Silver Birch with the blue sleeves. Then on Idle Talk on the inside. Irish Invader. Here the echo is there. Comply or die now making significant progress on the outside as we rejoin Tony O'Hare. Coming to the fence before Beechers and Black Appalachian continues to lead them. From here, the Echo and Silver Birch. Then offshore account, Idle Talk on the inside. They're followed by Irish Invader. Complier Dias towards the others. They come to Beechers for the second time. Black Appalachian. Here, the Echo, Silver Birch. Offshore account, Irish Invader. Idle Talk on the inside. Mon Mon is just in behind them. Black Appalachian is gone. Black Appalachian is down. Silver Birch is gone too. So is Parsons Legacy as they go on now towards the five haven fence and here the echo left disputing it with offshore account and they're followed in third place by my will who's moved up made a bit of a mistake irish invader idle talk is next then mon moan behind these is pre-sleep then comply or die big fella thanks butler's cabin then lamy and snowy morning and then southern vacant behind these is state of play with darkness and corny set as they jump the canal turn and the leader there was offshore account mistake by my will as they turn now to face Valentine's. And it's here the echo offshore account. Idle Talk on the inside. Mon Mon four. Five Lamy. Six is my will. Irish Invader. Southern Vic over to Darren Owen. And nowhere has been pulled up before Valentine's. They have five fences to jump. Several loose horses in front of the field. It is offshore account. Idle Talk here. The echo. My will. Comply or die. Is racing very wide as they jump this plane fence. Irish Invader just in behind them. Butler's cabin has a few lengths to find on the leaders. They now go towards the open ditch. Four from her. Offshore account, my will, comply or die. Hear the echo to the inside is idle talk as they take off. Irish Invader is still in the mix. Lamy hunting them up. Pre-sleep to the outside. Tony McCoy shakes the reins on Butler's cabin. To the inside, Southern Vic is getting into it. So it's offshore account who leads the field at the third last. Offshore account being followed by idle talk. Then my will, comply or die is still close up towards the outside. Looking back, Cornish set is the last one going. So the field cross the Melling Road. It is offshore account. Count Idle Talk and then My Will to the outside. Comply or die. Uh, looking to win another national is still in contention. Pre Sleep is still close up. Then Southern Vic just in behind them. Followed by Monmo. Big fella thanks. So still many chances. Two fences left to jump. It is offshore account. My Will. Comply or die. Here's Jim McGraw. Any one of a dozen horses could win the national of 2009. Offshore account on the inside. Just the leader from My Will. Ruby Walsh looking for his third win in the race. State of play and Monmo coming there strongly comply and die hard ridden now followed by priest sleep on the near side further back at southern Vic and coming into an art here a rank outsider they come to the second last my will ruby walsh get over it it's ruby walsh on my will from state of play switch to the inside now comply or die and mon is joining in as well they come up towards the last now and over on the far side it's mon moma jumps up size comply or die behind them is my will and state of play Further back, snowy morning, big fella, thanks. And then Sirium is running on. But Mon Moam has taken the lead now as they race towards the elbow. It's Mon Moam out in front here by four or five lengths. Comply or die battling on that state of play and my will. But it's Mon Moam who's clearing away up towards the line now. They race to the line. It's Mon Moam, Liam Treadwell, who's going to win the Grand National at the first attempt. It's Mon Moam who's going to come home. A very, very easy winner by the best part of ten legs. Comply or die is second. Third is my will. Fourth in state of play. Followed then by Sirium and Big Fella. Thanks, Butler's Cabin. Tony McCoy, 14th ride, and yet again it frustrates him. They're followed by Southern Vic and further back Artia. They're followed then, 101 winner Mon Moam. They're followed then by Idle Talk, and behind them is Irish Invader. Darkness is further back, then Snowy Morning. Free Sleep. Further back then is Battle Cry and Company with Offshore Account and Cornish Set. And unfortunately, here the Echo has collapsed on the run in. Uh, nowhere and also Lummi seem to have been pulled up there, just cantering up the track now. But the early estimate is 17 finishes. And Mon Moam, trained by Venetia Williams and owned by Vida Bingham.
is the winner and Liam Treadwell what a happy man he is he's now with Rishi Passad